Welcome back guys onto the channel. It's been a while. I was a commentator of the European Individual Championship. Hope you watched it a little bit and uh, I definitely hope that you enjoyed my analysis. Here uh, I came back from such a prestigious tournament. Uh, being a commentator I was able to check so many games and uh, I'm gonna almost on daily basis like upload like one game today another one a day afterwards so basically I just want to make sure to update you with the most interesting games from the tournament and imagine what happened uh, my game was published in Serbian uh, most prestigious like and absolutely the most popular newspapers and uh, my GM actually who won this game with a white pieces said I managed to win the game thanks to your analysis and uh, he was like uh, your analysis and I said what do you want this is the third game you win thanks to my analysis buddy and take a look what happened it was Butcher the Sicilian and poor guy with a black pieces lost even without a single move being played by white because he knew the whole analysis so let's begin after like uh, e4 c5 by the way grandmaster Nikola Jukic the best Montenegro player for uh, all these like years and for almost a decade was white uh, black pieces had Tudor Henry Edward I don't know where is he from but the point is poor guy he actually godly bad bitten in this game. Jukic played knight c3 and after a6 he decided to go for a big butcher the Sicilian thing, a chameleon system with the knight g and e2. After a6 why chameleon because sometimes you just want to make sure whether you want to go with d4 or just g3. Jukic went for g3, b5, bishop g2, bishop b7 and d4 and I usually explain my students whenever you see the light square bishop being on b7 you should break and you should be going with d4 uh, that's just easier to remember and here you just have the bishop on g2 opposed by the bishop on b7 and vice versa black went for knight f6 and jukic went for a castle another possibility here could be a3 if you want to avoid the gambiting thing with b4 uh, Topolov played against Nigel Short and beat famous game with white pieces. After like castle b4 you just have to be ready to sack a pawn on e4. For all of you who got butchered the Sicilian course you're familiar with this thing and you know that we just sack a pawn on e4. So after bishop e4, bishop e4, knight e4 I just want to remind you of the fact that on rookie one you go with a nice rookie one and in case of f5 you say f5 you want to go with that one against me you just go bishop e4 bishop e4 rook sacrifice queen h5 queen e5 rook is hanging knight e6 and they're completely lost or if rook e1 and they go d5 you said aha that's what you want to play against me knight takes e6 let's go f takes queen h5 g6 queen e5 and now if rook g8 you win the rook with queen e6 if queen f6 you say da -da -da -da, rook takes e4 I defend my queen if you take I'm gonna take your queen and if you just take on e5 I'm threatening pawn on e6 and after this bishop h3 and after bishop c8 boom this is how I beat another fm from my city so uh, in Juki's game his opponent went for the best one bishop e4 bishop e4 knight e4 rookie one and this is the moment where they usually have to stop and start think about this position it's already too late to think here if you're unfamiliar with the analysis and for all of you who actually got a course I absolutely have no uh, any kind of doubts that you're familiar with all the following lines I'm not gonna reveal the secret which one is the best for black I'm just gonna say that almost every second player go with d5 and fall for this falls for the following variation Jukic went for c4 b takes and he recaptured by knight on c3 then his opponent went for knight takes c3 and all of a sudden 
we get the critical position. Imagine he's just taken your knight to c3 and you say, I don't care. Boom, queen h5. So you leave this knight on c3 hanging there and being attacked by the pawn on b2, but at the same time, you're now just threatening to jump and take on e6. Taking by knight on e6 would pretty much decisive here. So black goes knight e4 and says, okay, let's go for this. And everybody sees knight takes e6. And after queen b6, they think they're fine because everything is more or less in a nice control. But here, white just comes up with another shocking thing. Stunning knight c7. Check. So you sack a piece in order to open up the e-file and your rook on e1. When black captured on c7, Jukic played queen d5. I'm just gonna ask, tell you here that absolutely the best and like uh, line with the most resistance for black is knight c6. But if that happens, you should be going with a little bit unexpected but absolutely strong is bishop g5. That one is aimed against bishop e7. That one is aimed against any knight e7. You just want to take on e4. You want to go with the rook on c1 going after this knight as well and queen on c7. And in general, you just want to kill the king on e8. After queen c6, he captured on e4, bishop e7. Pause the video and ask yourself, you're down a piece. How would you conduct the attack? How would you carry on here? And would you be able to come up with the best line? Okay, if you spend like five seconds, that would be enough. So it's white to move. And what is white supposed to play? Boom! Rook takes e7. Once again, all these things you'd be able to find in Big Maya course, Butcher the Sicilian. So after king e7, bishop g5, you can go on f8, queen d8, queen e8, bishop e7. And when you go here, checkmate. You can go on d8, on e8 because of queen d8 checkmate. So you have to play f6. Involve another piece. King f8. Check. King f7. Check. King g6 and queen h8. And after all that mess, after all the sacrifices, don't forget, we sacrificed the piece here on c3. Previously, we, first we sacrificed the pawn on uh, e4 here when they took on e4. Then we sacrificed a piece on c3 and we moved the queen all the way to h5. Then we, after that, sacrificed the knight. Then right after that, we sacrificed the rook on e7. So all these moves, and after all these moves, you just went into the line with the queen h8 and position is even up a pawn for us. They can't do anything but to take on g5, but it's made in few moves. This guy played h5, Jukic captured, played queen h7, and after h3, made the masterpiece uh, in this tournament for newspapers, for this channel, and once again, kind of revived my Butcher the Sicilian course. Uh, today, I just came up with this game. Tomorrow, we're just coming up with more. Stay tuned and enjoy. Thanks.